Procrastination is the lion growing in you. I'm gonna tell you what I mean in a moment. But essentially you're becoming a man and you're moving into a new phase in your life where you're beginning to say, no, I won't. But you keep, it's, it's sort of passive aggressive because you can't say that to your teacher. Fuck you, I ain't doing this class work. Fuck you, I ain't taking the test. No, I'm not going to class. You can't, you can't, you can't do that, right? Because you're still a camel. Tell you what I mean in a moment. And ultimately, this is a journey to becoming the strongest version of yourself or a form of potent wisdom that is encapsulated in another metaphor, which is the child. So, what am I talking about? What is Elliot talking about? If you've ever read Thus Spoke Darathustra, Darathustra, this is Nietzsche, you know, of course, like I, I can't pronounce half the shit that he, he writes. But this is, this is a metaphor that's used in this book by Friedrich Nietzsche where he describes the evolution, the spiritual evolution of the man. Where he goes from the beginning stages of his life, he's physically and spiritually, emotionally immature, and he calls this your camel stage. Zarathustra. <laughs> right? I think I said it right. This is the camel stage of your evolution. What is the camel? The camel is a beast of burden. You basically are at a stage in your life from birth, you know, where you start walking and talking and they start teaching you shit. They start laying burdens on your shoulders, right? Society, your parents, teachers, religion, they start putting things on your shoulders. You're a beast of burden until about the age of, you know, about 17. Like, kind of like, you know, where you're at right now. Where you bow down. What does the camel do? It's such a great metaphor. Beautiful, beautiful passage in the book. He bows down. And the world is loading his back with burdens. You're a beast of fucking burden. You're supposed to go to school. You're supposed to pass your tests. You're supposed to do your homework. You're supposed to clean your bedroom. You're supposed, 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 right? All the things you're supposed to do, all the conditioning laid upon you, all the beliefs that you've been given, they're not yours. A lot of us think we have our own beliefs. Ah, I've got my own beliefs. No, you don't. No, you know. No, you have not developed your own beliefs, your own ideas, your own conditioning. You have not become a lion just yet until that camel, at about that age where you start exploring and questioning just a little bit if, you, if you're a mature individual. If you don't question, that means there's no, no inclination towards maturity in you. But you're, you know, most of us you know, in this day and age with the internet and, you know, so much ideas being proliferated that of course we're going to mature. Right? I'm hearing all this other shit and, and I'm asked to do all this stuff, stuff here. What's going on? So you're about 17 years old. You've been, all that has been laid on your shoulders, right? The beast of burden now travels out into the desert. This is the world. You're going to either go to college, you're going to go and, and get a career, but essentially you're now sort of free, right? We've extended college. I mean, we could extend college until you're fucking you know, 30, 40 years old. It depends on when you want to grow up. But essentially, you're now going out into the world. So that camel stands up, beautiful metaphor, and wanders out into the desert with this giant load on its back. And he meets a dragon. And the dragon's name is Thou Shalt. Thou shalt is this dragon. And on every one of his little pieces of, of uh, you know, dragon scales, there's a thou shalt. There's a belief. There is a, there's an admonition. There's something that you're supposed to do. All these supposed tos that the world tells us is all over this dragon. Here comes this dragon. Thou shalt. Thou shalt. And you're, where, you're carrying this burden that the world has laid upon you. And it is your responsibility as a maturing individual to slay that dragon because one of two things will happen. You either bow down and you continue to live your life as a beast of burden and you allow thou shalt to control you. So now that dragon rules your life. A lot of us live that way. Will you slay that fucking dragon? kind of where you are right now. All that procrastination is because you feel this anxiety between, you know, all this stuff is being laid upon me, but I really don't want to do this. You're out in the desert right now. You started, you started, you're sort of out there and you're meeting this dragon. Thou shalt, thou shalt. Your responsibility at this point, 
and, and I know it's your responsibility, this is your plight because you're asking me this fucking question, is to slay that fucking dragon. And by slaying that dragon, you become a lion. And that lion's name and his attitude is I will and no. So the no goes towards all the things that the world has told you you're supposed to do. Thou shalt. You destroy the dragon with your no. 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 See, right now you can't do it that way. Because you're still living in the confines. You're still bowed down. You're still, you're, but you're about to get up. You're still bowed down as that camel. But you're about to get up. Remember this, my friend. That now... As you're walking, as you're on your own four feet as that camel and out into the desert. And at this point, no one can do this for you. Your parents are not there for you anymore. Because you're becoming a man. Your most powerful position against the dragon of thou shalt is your no. And once you slay that dragon with your no, you begin a new journey in your spiritual evolution as a man. And that is your I will. Now, how many of us even that make it that far that become a man of I will? Now you go out there and, and, and the lion is completely hysterical. He's rebellious. He's angry. He wants to tear everybody's heads off, heads off. And he just uses pure will. That's why his new power is called I will. You're living out of your... You're living out of this part of your body right now. This is where your will is. Of course, I'm talking about other things, but follow me. This is your heart. This is your breathing. This is your solar plexus. That which combusts and manifests in your body does so in your life. Now it's the will. You build up your will. You go out there and you do whatever the fuck you want to do. You go and you choose the type of woman you want, you choose the type of career you want, you choose the type of business you want, you choose whether or not you want to go into business, you decide you want what type of poetry you want to involve yourself in, type of art. You, you, you go out there now and you exert your will the way you want to and thou shalt has already died so you do it out of your own sense of purpose and strength. And this is where you'll be for quite a while. And this is where you'll find your greatest successes and your deepest hurts when you become that lion and you need to go through it. You need to go through those very difficult and treacherous times of challenge, discomfort, hunger as a lion because a lion doesn't bow down to nobody, right? He'll starve before he bows to the other animals. He ain't bowing, motherfucker. He killed that dragon for a reason. Kill me or I'll starve. That's the attitude of the lion. This has been my attitude and the attitude that I've been sharing with you guys through these videos for the past several years. It's the attitude of the lion, the I will. The no that you use to slay that fucking dragon and the I will that you'll carry with you to succeed in that next evolution of your life.